Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking into Warzone at the weapons and picking out the best top 5 weapons within Cold War Warzone that have just been implemented and for you to use at the moment if you're going to jump into some Warzone. Now obviously there are over 100 weapons pretty much in Warzone currently so obviously we're not going to go through all of them, we're only going through the top 5 and this is my opinion solely. These weapons are the ones that I like to use when I play Warzone that I've picked up and thought, mm, okay they're pretty damn good or are just straight up broken so so guys without further ado let's get into this top five number five for me is actually the snipers within black ops cold war have been put into war zone and the first one i'd like to start with is the pellington pellington is straight up just so fun to use within Warzone currently i mean when i pick it up i think it aims in weird i don't think it's kind of i don't know i just feel like it doesn't fit into Warzone yet they may need a couple of updates to make how smooth it is the reload animation things like that but in regards to using the weapon mate it's smooth and it's nice and not to mention how satisfying it is when you get a kill with it and the same goes for the lw3 that as well is just so satisfying to get kills with to get headshots with to know you down people and in this gameplay you're seeing on screen right now this was live on stream and we were just popping headshots left right and center and absolutely absolutely destroying the enemy and it was so much fun weapon number two the m16 i did a video on the m16 the other day it was actually my first season one warzone video that i uploaded to the channel and boy this thing is stupid as you've seen by these two kills and listen to what these guys had to say they were not impressed when i killed them with the m16 so hard Fuck's sake, man. As you've seen, it's like a two burst kill from anywhere. And on the M16, on the barrel section, you can put different barrels on to increase the fire rate of your weapon. So you can effectively make it like a very slow firing automatic machine gun. And it's 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 a borderline OP. It's really, really good. Go check that video out if you want to see our best class setup for the M16. And again, if you want to see some sick gameplay, go have a look at it as well. It is just stupid. I feel like the M16 is going to get a nerf in the near future. So go and play with it now in Warzone whilst you can. There's a couple of different attachments and setups that you can use in order to utilize range and uh, close distance and things like that go have a play around with it go try it out and definitely go and check this video out if you want a best class setup for the m16 weapon number three my favorite gun in the game at the moment that i actually need to do a video on very soon the ak-74u this is absolutely one of my favorite guns in warzone currently because it does nothing but dominate of course it's not as good as the mac 10 and it's probably not as efficient to use as the mp5 but in the game you're seeing on screen at the moment this thing seriously shreds when you need it to it's very powerful it's fast fire rate and it's just so good for close quarter combat i would 100 percent recommend you guys go and check this gun out try it out and see how you feel about it and put it on in place of the mp5 every time i've picked it up every time i've used it from my own loadout every time i've picked it up off the ground or got out of a crate it's never let me down it's one of the best guns in the game you guys should definitely go and try it out and uh, yeah it's a massive contender for one of the best crutch meta weapons in warzone currently now of course guys you obviously did see this one coming the next weapon is going to be around the stoner the stoner in cold war Warzone has got to be probably the one of the most broken guns they've ever added into the game it is absolutely crazy powerful and crazy ridiculously strong if you put a stopping power on this weapon it will be a three to four shot kill it's that stupid and because the gun fires that quickly it's just crazy and not to mention that three to four shot kill yeah that's pretty much from any range on the map at all like you can cross map someone potentially or still going to be a three to four shot kill that's how good this gun is and of course if you want to set it up in a way to be able to make that happen extra bullet velocity is needed and things like that i'll link that down in below a stoner best class that i did a couple of days ago and it's absolutely crazy and as you can tell in the gameplay it's just dumb guys go check it out let me know what you guys think of the stoner as well down below it's a broken weapon in warzone and i kind of think it will get a patch very very soon so if you want to try this out for yourself go and use it and let me know what you guys think and finally this one it, everyone knew this was coming this is the number one most broken gun in warzone at the moment and uh, i just don't think anything is ever going to beat it for a very long time dude i've just been called a cheater in a different language <laughs> jesus man this gun is something 
else, man. Knowing the track for record of Infinity War, it's probably not going to be patched for another couple of weeks yet. And uh, this one is the Mac 10. Now, this is just a weapon that was implemented into Cold War as a DLC weapon, and of course has made it into Warzone Season 1. It's broken, guys. As you see on the screen for the gameplay, it just melts everyone that goes in the, in its path. Like, it's just, it's the best gun in the game, 100%. If you've got it, I think it's level 17 on the Battle Pass or something like that. I could be wrong. It's around there anyway. It's basically, if you unlock it on the Battle Pass and you rank it up a little bit, the difference from the stats in Cold War and the difference to the stats in Warzone are very different. In terms of, in Warzone, there's zero recoil. In Cold War, there's a ton of recoil. So you've got a very different, you've basically got two completely different weapons in both of the games. And if you're going to go and use this in Warzone, I've again made a best class up for it. And as you see in the gameplay on screen, it seriously works and goes to town. So go check out that best class setup, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the MAC-10 as well. Do you think it needs a nerf? Do you think that it's good enough the way it is? Let me know. I'm kind of glad they've got a bit of a meta shift in Warzone because it was typically just going to be the Kilo and the MP5 or the Kilo and the R9. It's just, I'm glad they've kind of shifted it up a little bit. And uh, this actually might compete with the R9. So guys, as I mentioned, they are my top five best weapons for Cold War Warzone at the moment and probably my favorite guns after using all of them. And again, if you guys want me to go into detail with some of the best class ups for these weapons do let me know and comment it down below i'll be sure to make another video like this one just going into detail with some of the best class setups for these five weapons all these five weapon classes and then just basically giving you guys a breakdown of what you need to do in order to achieve long distance best close range best rush class setup stuff like that let me know and i'll do that video for you guys guys thank you very much for watching this video i really do appreciate it if you did enjoy just leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys are brand new around here as well that would be amazing we have just reached 2,000 subscribers i can't thank you guys enough it's been absolutely amazing the support recently so i really do appreciate that and uh, guys without further ado we'll see you all in the next video